Mossad chief has warned that young female hostages held by Hamas in Gaza are running out of time. As per Hebrew media, David Barnia told a security cabinet meeting that they do not have time to wait for a new hostage deal framework. He said the proposal could take long weeks and the girls in captivity don't have time to wait for changes under the discussion. Now, it was not certain why the Mossad chief focused especially on women here. But others present at the meeting also backed the need for a swift agreement, citing more than one reason. Intelligence Minister Gamliel cited concerns that the female hostages may have been raped in captivity. She was quoted as saying that women can give birth after nine months and that is a disaster that you cannot recover from. Ministers, including Gamliel, have reportedly pressed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to ignore threats from National Security Minister Ben Gwir and Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich. Both of them oppose any deal that ends the war before Hamas is destroyed. They have even threatened to topple the government if necessary. Meanwhile, Israel's Knesset voted overwhelmingly to pass a resolution rejecting the establishment of a Palestinian state. The resolution was co-sponsored by Netanyahu's coalition as well as right-wing parties from the opposition. It even received support from Benny Gantz's centrist National Unity Party. The resolution was passed 68 to 9. It stated, and I'm going to quote here, the establishment of a Palestinian state in the land of Israel will pose an existential danger to the state of Israel and its citizens perpetuate the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and destabilize the region. This move comes just days ahead of Netanyahu's visit to the U.S. The Israeli Prime Minister is scheduled to address a joint session of the Congress and meet President Joe Biden at the White House. This new resolution is likely to further increase tensions among Democrats who back a two-state solution. The blue camp remains torn between their long-standing support for Israel and criticism over Israel's operations in Gaza. Israeli ground offensive has killed nearly 39,000 people in Gaza so far, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The ministry also said that over the past 24 hours itself, Israeli strikes have killed at least 81 Palestinians. Then on the other front, the Israeli Defense Forces have named 682 soldiers, officers and reservists killed during the war. The number of humanitarian workers of the United Nations and non-governmental organizations killed in the Gaza Strip has also climbed to 300. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who is currently chairman of the UN Security Council, said that this is the largest one-time loss for the UN in modern history.